This is the same recipe database window that we saw before. Why? Because in Insight, target or limit formulas can be composed and saved like any other recipe. Insight has clicked the target filtering button for me, which has signaled this dialog to put the word target here and start the search automatically to find these records. I found the one I want and I have already selected it. To quickly see more information about this, I can check this box. The dialog changes to look like this, showing detail about each recipe here. Now I'll click the Open button. Now there's a target formula in column 3. You might have the problem shown here where the new target column has squashed the other two formula columns. If this happens, just widen the Insight Recipe window and adjust the column widths by clicking and dragging the title boundary lines. While I'm at it, I'll increase the height so I can see more lines. Here is what the formula list looks like now. As you can see, the target formula is easy to compare with the other two. Back to the recipe window again, let's examine some things along the lower part of it. This is called the calculated items list. It displays various calculated values like recipe totals, thermal expansion, cost, formula weight, and silica to alumina ratio. If you double click a line, this happens. Insight tells you a little about what that line is for. Before continuing, I want to make sure I have the Lessons Materials database selected here. These controls shape the way calculations are done. These pop-ups enable you to specify the type of calculation you want. For example, unity or non-unity, or analysis or mole percent. If you click these boxes, Insight will treat iron as a flux for the respective oxide. As already noted, I can select a materials database that Insight will use for chemistry lookup here. And I can choose a set of thermal expansion numbers that I'd like to use here. These tabs will reveal many other controls, mostly related to information you are maintaining with each recipe. The Chemistry tab is, of course, the one that shows by default. Click this tab to enter notes about each recipe. Notice that the notes are shown side by side. Select the Recipe Details tab to enter other kinds of information like description, location, type codes, date, uh, a URL, etc. Again, notice the side by side layout so that you can see all the information from both recipes. When you save a recipe, Insight writes all of this information into the recipe file, or the database, or both depending on how you have it configured. Let's look at the Pictures tab for a moment. You can drop JPEG or PNG images here, up to nine for each recipe. Notice the picture didn't get copied to the recipe on the right. This is by design since copy is normally used as a starting point for an adjustment to a recipe. These buttons cycle the pictures. This adds, this removes, and this one will open the picture in the program your operating system uses to edit images. This one switches between viewing the picture in actual size or shrinking it to fit. You can enter notes specific to each recipe here. A typical Insight session will be to enter a recipe here, then put in some details about it here, and then save it here, or to open it using this button. Then you'll compare its chemistry with a target, and then copy it right using this button, and then make changes to Recipe 2 and observe the, observe the impact on the chemistry and the calculated items. Of course, you'll need to develop a knowledge of what these oxides contribute to the fired glaze, and how they interplay, and what materials you should source them from. We provide the web and insight resources to help you with all of that. 
Insight maintains its information in files in a folder named Insight in your Documents folder. It creates this the first time it is run and puts starting recipe and materials files here. This folder contains recipe files if you choose to configure Insight for file system mode. Although even in database mode, recipes are backed up here automatically. This folder contains report templates. They're just text files. This is the Insight SQL database file. These are the last reports I did, HTML and text. This is the lessons materials file I'm using. And this is the standard one. You can get a personalized version of it at our reference library website. The file menu in Insight provides items to create, open, close, and save recipes, which by default refers to the database. These items enable you to open file system recipes. If I had Insight set to file system mode, this choice would read open database recipe. The open dialog for file system mode looks like this. Otherwise, in standard database mode, you get this much more capable open dialog with comprehensive search tools. The report type item in the file menu provides multiple reports to choose from. Insight writes reports to text or HTML files and then asks the operating system to display them in your text editor or browser. The print button at the bottom of the button bar prints the last type of report chosen in the menu. Here's an example of a detailed recipe calculation report shown in my text editor. I can send it to my printer from here. Here's an example of a side-by-side -side report that displays in my web browser with clickable links to oxide and material information at the Digital Fire Reference Library. The edit menu is basic, but there are two items I want to point out. You can copy a recipe as text to the clipboard, and you can ask Insight to interpret a recipe on the clipboard and enter it into the recipe list for you. Use the Utility menu to compress a recipe to remove blank lines, create and remove large numbers of test recipes, import folders of XML recipe files, show the, and show the materials and oxides dialogs, which we've already seen. This item asks the operating system to open the database file, the equivalent of double-clicking the SQL recipe database file in your operating system. Of course, your system must be configured to know how to do that. In this case, I installed a database browser that configures it for me, and it looks like this. This utility gives me complete SQL access to the Insight data. You can learn all about this tool and the amazing SQLite database here at sqlite.org. This item in the Utility menu displays the Overrides and Type Codes dialog. It enables you to edit, delete, and add type codes that you can use to categorize recipes in endless ways. You can also edit the expansion and cost number sets that you can choose in the Insight interface. This is called the Overrides dialog because these things are also stored in materials files, but values here override them. This enables you, for example, to get a materials file from our website and override the costs and expansion numbers with your own. Of course, you use the Calculate menu to perform various kinds of calculations. This item enables you to enter a molar formula and Insight will convert it into a chemical analysis as a recipe. If you have entered a unity formula, the calculated formula should match what you entered into the convert dialog. Use these to round the amounts in a recipe, retotal a recipe, multiply and divide it by 10, and impose an LOI or loss on ignition on a recipe or analysis. That is the end of this lesson.